So just in case, this is now a little quick stream because it's all about this light, the, the Molox X100. This light is actually pretty amazing because obviously um, for 250 bucks, having a mobile light that is like very, very powerful with 100 watts, if you think about it, um, I'll showcase now how thin and flat this is. This is like ridiculous. Obviously, with the battery and everything um, like as an add-on, you pay $350 and that's a little bit extreme. I bought this light for like um, social media reels. Like I have like a client where I walk around, follow him and basically shine a light on him and film him. And sometimes the lighting conditions are not perfect and it's really, really good to have a powerful light. The only downside is how do you power this one? Because obviously not all batteries are working with that and you would assume like, why is this obvious? Yeah, well, this requires a lot of, lot of power. And I want to show you what happens if you do it wrong, because um, everybody thinks like, oh, I can power this with like USB-C and I'm fine. You're not, because there's a little bit more to it. Here, for example, I have an MPF battery and this is one of the, the bigger ones, so they last longer. And this battery will not work. And I will show you how to make this battery work on the Molox X100. First off, let's do it um, the right way, as you would think it should happen and work. It says output, I plug a USB-C cable in there, USB-C, and now you plug it in here, and, and nothing is happening, obviously. So let's power it on, kind of press and hold. Now you see like, oh, it's glowing, it should work. And now you just see like, oh, nothing absolutely nothing is happening even though it says now it's on what is very 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 annoying and obviously if this doesn't work you would assume like um what do i use now because i have this battery i have a v-mount battery here obviously both batteries are fully charged if you plug in this one it will work and you don't know why it really works so this one requires like somewhat of a minimum aperture or a, uh, like a minimum aperture aperture so i cannot talk anymore so now it's powering on and so that oh and i'm getting blinded as you can see it says now in the top right if you look here 18 watts this is not 100 watts 18 watts is not a lot so what is funny enough this battery is a V-mount battery and it has a lot of power and juice and it's basically like the industry standard and you only get 18 watts. But absolute game changer and a must have for every videographer is the Ulanzi MPF battery plate. This is actually really special because like it, let me put the cables away. This is actually really special because it has the PD output. And that is like a new standard for charging. And that is basically a higher output in amper... Uh, I cannot speak anymore. Like higher output in amps. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't. It's been a long day. Can't talk anymore. And so with that battery that did not even work, onto this plate, attached with the right cable, like the USB-C to USB-C, and we're going on to PD output onto our lovely Cyron Molox X. And now we can power this bad boy on and you will be quite surprised because it will sh tell you in a second, like, um, oh, wait, first I have to turn it on. Oh, it was not really plugged in. powering it on it's kind of funny now it says 30 watts look at that 30 watts i should have had the thing on there but 30 watts is crazy so it's more powerful now and you basically can crank it to 30 percent obviously so because it's like 100 watts and it's like super powerful and this is like even too powerful i'm currently working on a little 3d print project where I'm planning on selling it. 
because in the cheap version for $250, you just get this and no batteries, but you get the power cable and you get the funnel. But this is obviously way too strong. So if you attach this, it will get actually a little bit more direct and more powerful. But with this thing that I'm planning on selling, like this here, it becomes like a softbox and it's still very, very bright, actually uh, bright, actually too, uh, actually too bright. Uh, as you can see, it becomes now way more soft. So it's actually working and I'm planning on optimizing this a little bit, a little bit better, but so far it's working. Oh, I'm getting blinded here just by turning it on. Um, also, another thing why you should actually buy this Ulanzi uh, battery plate. It's actually very powerful. I want to, where do I have this cable? Oh, I have it right here. So because it ha um, has a higher output in amps, you can actually plug this in. And this is like an a power USB to Sony cameras. And you can actually power a whole freaking camera with this now. And this is very, very powerful. As you can see here, I want to hold it up. And now obviously the camera will last way, way longer. And yeah. It's like this battery plate is like a game changer. Not all battery plates are like that. And not all batteries will work, like I said, with the Molox X100. But this plate is like whew, game changing. So if you buy a battery or you look for batteries to buy, you have to look out for the um, PD output or PD standard. And that's like um, power delivery or something like that that is more... Uh, powerful like a higher amps than others yeah sorry for <laughs> messing everything up here but so far this is like game changer as i said and here it also says like um the max output is five amps that is very very powerful where most usb cables or usb adapters only have 2.1 amps the five amps, this one will get a little bit hot because like obviously there's converting going on, a uh, conversion going on, but this is very powerful and this allows you to charge nearly anything that needs PD power delivery. Um, I don't even think this is like the, the name for it, but yeah, just rambling. And if you find this video helpful, check out the YouTube channel. Um, I actually have links down below where you can actually buy this battery plate because it was really, really hard to find a battery plate that is actually working with um, the Molox X100. And it took me quite a while, so just save yourself some hassle and just click down below the link and check it out. Um, yeah. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the, the Molox X100. And how well it's actually holding up. So first off, for what do you need this light? In the beginning, you're just like, oh yeah, a mobile light that has 100 watts is like, sounds like a game changer. But then you actually run into the situation, it's like, where do I actually use this? Because it's a little bit different. It does not really come with a softbox unless you spend the $350. And yeah. With that being said, the, the use case of this thing becomes very limited because like if you buy the budget version like I did, um, it's rather hard to use it because the light is way too strong and way too funnel. And that's why I basically built myself like a little um, softbox. Um, you also can buy one for $40, but I think that's a little bit extreme for a softbox. Um, yeah, but so far I've used it on weddings but the, the main highlight about this light is actually for social media. If you go out shooting and you have a gimbal set up and you just have to do run and gun situations where you're just like, okay, we're filming, quick in, quick out. There's no time to set up a real light and you need to be mobile. This is the solution. Actually, it's not as light as I wish it should be because obviously the form factor is tremendous. It is a very, very light light in comparison to everything else, but it's still too heavy. Um, to mount it onto the camera and then onto the gimbal. I actually made it work, but it's not reliable. Like sometimes if you just make the wrong movement with the gimbal and you know, and you just like have the camera here and you have this on top, you know, it kind of works with a little bit distance, but if it tips forward, most gimbals can't hold that. 
Yeah, so for who is this light? If you're flexible and you can kind of hold it like up to the left and you run around with your gimbal, it will work and it will hold up. And it's actually really perfect for that run and gun. I usually put this battery set up in my pocket. And when it's in my pocket, I run the cable up to here and then I basically run around and film. And it's working well so far. Very happy with it. This is like for so, some nightlife or some... Um, club events where you just like do event videography photography this is like the way because it's like if it's on and you have the softbox on top it's not like the flash going off all the time and blinding people it's like a consistent light glow and you don't actually need a hundred watts it's like maybe 10 to 5 watts otherwise you will get blinded what is kind of crazy if you think about it so you don't really need that and I actually recommend the, the other one the X 40 or 60 from Sion because they are actually like more in the usable range and they need way less power. So just in case, do you regret buying this one though? 100% not because it's sometimes really nice like, oh, I need to hide this light somewhere, throw some um, light in the background or light the situation completely up, especially here in Florida. It is really bright in the daytime and 100 watts is actually not enough. Like sometimes you want to have um, at least like 200 watts or yeah, and then it becomes really hot. How do you actually um, put a softbox on that and make it not too blinding? <laughs> so that is the situation where you most of the time run in with this thing because... It is bright and it's nearly too bright because you will get really, really blinded if you're in a dark environment. So you need a softbox. And yeah, so you should check out my Etsy. I will probably launch this product soon. And I have actually some really cool products coming up. Um, for people who don't know, I do land stands. And let me showcase what, what we got here so this is now my new custom art piece here this is the the white lens stand with some artwork on top um, very unique design and this is what it does it um, looks a little bit interesting now on camera obviously quality is a little bit different but this glows in the dark and this is like really cool with neon light like it glows with neon light in the dark and that is like where i think it's shining because it's really cool when you have that on your shelf and I maybe can even show you yeah I think you maybe can see a little bit here I don't know if it's yeah the lighting and the, the quality of the live stream is a little bit different but it's working usually as you can see nah, if you can't really but anyhow that was the whole live stream for the Molox X100.